Hey guys, it's Joy here, and today we are talking about heat damage. So for all of you who are new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe and like this video, as well as turn on your notifications so you can see more natural hair videos like this. But basically, a lot of you know that I went through extreme heat damage back when I was starting my natural hair journey. Um, I'll have some pictures up here, but basically I used to get my hair straightened every two weeks and eventually my curls were just bone straight and I didn't really understand what had happened. Just eventually when I was doing wash day, my hair wasn't curly anymore. And I kind of just let it be like that as I continued to do my hair. And then I started watching like natural hair videos and stuff. And I was like, oh, like this is actual damage to my hair. Like what can I do? Um, my hair was about this length straightened. And I was like, well, I don't really want to cut my hair off. I was in middle school. I didn't want a big chop or anything. So I tried to find an alternative route. So basically when you have heat damage, there's two options, cutting it all off or eventually cutting it slowly and repairing your new growth and making sure that's healthy. So I went with option two. But before we get into my routine and things that I did to make my hair come back curly, healthy, etc., let's talk about heat damage. So one misunderstanding is that heat damaged hair can fully bounce back. That's not entirely true. Heat damage is a permanent change to your hair when you put extreme heat on curly hair. And the strands will turn straight, there's damage to your hair shaft, and that really can't be repaired. But for me, my ends were straight, the middle was wavy, and it kind of went back to kinky, so there was a range. So the ends were definitely done. The middle, um, just needed some tender love and care the ends were healthy hair so my technique was slowly cutting keeping making sure the middle could ha come back as much as it could um, because that wasn't really permanent it was just a looser wave which is still heat damage but I could deal with that for the time and then I was making sure that the new growth would come in healthy and I would prevent heat damage so for all of you guys who have heat damage and you don't want to cut, um, let's talk about your options for getting your curls back. So my process took about a year and a half um, from the heat damage hair to having my curls looking good. So basically I have a list right here that we're going to go through. So the first thing is stop using heat. Like you're gonna just cause more damage if you're putting heat on already damaged hair. Um, you need to stop using heat, but if you must use heat, make sure you're using a heat protectant. Make sure that the temperature is low, like lower than you usually do. Um, why do you set your oven to 400 degrees? Like, would you put your head in it? Like, no. Like, just lower that temperature a little bit. Um, also, make sure that you're deep conditioning and stuff before you put heat on your hair. But that is like, if you must, like, please just stop putting heat on your hair so you can stop furthering any damage that you have. And by heat, I mean straighteners, blow dryers, anything, um, especially if you have damage. Try to avoid heat. Second is choosing how you are going to cut your hair because Eventually you will cut off most of the damage and so option one is a big chop which is cutting all the way to the healthy hair. The second option is monthly or bi-monthly trims. And so what I did was monthly, um, every month I would cut off a half inch of hair for that year or so. And that was because your hair usually grows a half inch um, more or less maybe a quarter inch but I didn't want to see the length I was losing just because I didn't really care how long it took um, so I cut off a half inch every month and if you don't really care about losing length you just don't want to do it all at once maybe do it every two weeks cut off some of your heat damage just so it's a little less dramatic or like emotionally 
pain like less emotionally painful for you guys um, but you will have to get some hair scissors and trim your hair and if you want to see how I trim my own natural hair without having to put heat on it you should click the video um, up here it's how I trim my natural hair um, and that will show you how you can trim your hair at home without having to pay to go to a salon So definitely check that out after we finish going through these tips the third thing So you also want to be taking care of the hair that you will be keeping um, And you also want to see if any of the hair can have some curls bounce back So for me that was the hair that was kind of still spirally, but a little bit looser So I wanted to see if I could get any of that to get like some life back into it so what I did was deep conditioning um, I deep conditioned weekly for a few months and then kind of went to every wash day every two weeks then three weeks etc um, so what I did was a DIY deep conditioner and it is using avocado so I would use avocado honey and some oils like olive oil coconut oil and mix it together blend it and then put that on my hair for 20 minutes with a with a plastic cap and then rinse it out so some people um, they do protein treatments. so my hair does not like protein so I would add egg um, my hair didn't like the egg white so I could only either do the yolk or do nothing but the yolk is just fat so it just made my hair softer um, so definitely try it out um, but if you see that the egg or any type of protein is not working with your hair don't keep doing it um, it's not every hair type doesn't react the same way to protein so definitely try that out or try to google other DIY deep conditioning um, I like natural stuff when I'm dealing with my hair but you can buy deep conditioners um, if you want to see the deep conditioner that I'm currently using there's a link below to all the hair products that I use. Um, I currently use one by As I Am, but if you want to purchase it or just look at all the hair products that I use on my hair, click on the link in the description box. The next thing that you should try out is protective styling. So if you do want to cut your hair but you're not ready to lose length, think about maybe cutting three inches off your hair, then getting braids, and then you'll kind of forget that you cut your hair and it will be less traumatic um, like we were saying before so I did do braids and twists um, just because if I wanted to cut a little bit more than the half inch a month I would cut it then put my hair in those twists and then after like two months when I took them out my hair would have grown an inch back um, by then and your hair is not going to have as much breakage because you do want to protect your ends when you have heat damage especially if you're not cutting it all off at once because you might get split ends and then that split end will go all the way up the shaft and damage your whole hair um, the whole hair strand and then you'll end up having to cut off more than you would have before so that's why you really need to look at the health of your hair before you decide if you're going to big chop or just periodically trim my hair had heat damage but it did not have split ends and that's what was different about my heat damage than when I talk to other people some people's hair is like all split up if you have split ends I say cut as much as you can because you don't want your new growth to get damaged because that would eliminate the purpose of deep conditioning on all of the stuff that we're trying to do to make your new hair healthy and your curls pop in so definitely see if you have split ends cut those off immediately but for me I had heat damage but no visible split ends um, that needed me to big chop so those are all of my tips for um, recovering or getting curls back and it's really just a new growth regimen um, I feel like there's a lot of misunderstanding about heat damage you definitely can't just leave your hair to sit um, you need to be trimming you need to be um, deep conditioning and everything like that once you get your curls back you can hold back on the trimming um, I only trim twice a year now so trim as needed but when you're trying to get rid of that damage keep doing it regularly deep conditioning um, deep conditioning regularly once you get your curls back try not to go back to heat um, you're gonna have new length you're gonna be looking good you're like should I like just look back at a picture of your heat damage and you'll be like heck not nah, heck not nah. that's what I do when I get like tempted I just look back at a picture and I'm like yeah I am NOT going down that path again yeah so if you have any questions leave them in the comments below 
so thank you guys so much for watching once again check out the how i trim my natural hair video if you're interested and make sure you give me a thumbs up on this video bye